Hi, my name is Diana Turner. I'm an environmental scientist. I studied at the Australian Catholic University in North Sydney and I also did my honours degree there and that was on sort of soil science and microbiology. In my honours year, I did four weeks of compulsory work experience at a company called Gold Associates. I chose Gold Associates as part of the area that I wanted to work into because it had some of the environmental earth sciences related to my honours year. At the end of my four weeks of work experience I got offered a job so that was fantastic. I finished my honours degree and a week later I was sitting in my first full-time professional job. I'm titled as an environmental consultant and the main work that I work on is contaminated sites and the various assets of investigation, assessment and due diligence work. With the investigation and assessment we go out and look at a site and look at its history and try and assess for any areas of historical contaminating activities and then we plan and design a program to investigate and assess and validate and remediate if need be to make sure that that site's suitable for its proposed land use. Well, in the current climate, gosh, the sky's the limit. Um, in private as well as public sector, people can't hire people quick enough. There's not enough graduates out there for us to fill the positions. There's a lot of public roles in the various levels of government, in all of the uh, EPA and their various facets through DECC now, Department of Environment, Conservation and Climate Change. And then also in the private sector, in the consulting element, there is a lot of opportunities for environmental graduates in all different angles, be it through the ecology, flora, fauna aspects, through the soil sciences, right through to the chemical and analytical science. There's a lot of jobs out there just dying for people to fill. A lot of moving around and jet setting in this industry, which is exciting. You get to spend time at places. I spent a few weeks at Byron Bay a few months ago on a site office, which was, I can think of worse places to have to be. But yeah, spend a lot of time out on sites, doing the investigation work and doing the sampling, and then come back to the office and analyse it and report it. And then off you go for your next project. Even if you're not sure about what you want to study, environmental science covers so many different areas, it gives you so much diversity. If you're interested in any kind of sciences, I did four unit science at high school because I just knew I liked sciences and then I chose to do environmental science course at uni because it had sciences in it. I didn't know that I wanted to be an environmental scientist, so if you're interested in sciences, just have a look at the course utilise all the different areas that it, it exposes you to and then that gives you all the background to be able to focus a career into any area that you really enjoy studying over your years at university. You could major in the um, bugs and bunnies as it's termed in industry, the flora and fauna aspects and be more of an ecologist and doing a lot of environmental impact assessment work. You can major in the chemical analysis and in that area you can either do soil chemical uh, geophysics or you can do groundwater chemical work. There's a big hydrogeological push in Sydney because there's not a lot of experience so you can use your chemical background to look at those areas. And then there's the physical properties as well. There's the soil assessments, the salinity assessments which is a big issue as well with all the developments occurring in sort of the western suburbs and southern areas of New South Wales. So, they're really the main areas that you can, can look into and develop.